You go to Cambodia for what? Study Cambodian. What? It's easy to learn Cambodian from anywhere. You just go to the website kummerlessons.com and choose a tutor. That's it. Really? What's that easy? Yes, of course. I'm learning Cambodian with them too. Can I cancel the flight? Hello everyone, welcome back to learn Khmer with my channel and I'm Dara from the Khmer lesson. Uh, I hope everyone is good and uh, I would like to say as well, Happy New Year! Uh, Happy New Year 2024! Uh, and this is the first video in this year as well and in this video you will learn some vocabulary some sentences that you can use at the hair salon so for foreigners who live in Cambodia and when you go to the barber shop or you go to the hair salon and would like to uh, use my sentence this video really useful for you okay so if you would like to know about those sentences in this video now let's go to the lesson together. Sentences at the hair salon in Khmer. Okay, now let's start. Uh, before we learn those sentences at the hair at the hair salon, just learn some vocabulary first, such as hair salon. In Khmer we say hang utsa. And another meaning you can say hang katsa. But hang katsa is barber shop. But hang cut so. and hang would so it mean like uh, uh, the place mostly for women to get their hair done like to make it curly make it straight or color okay uh, and let me tell you the the word in this phrase but hang would so. it means hang is short but it means to iron but iron and so is hair so this word together hang would so. short iron hair ba. and another meaning we say hang cut so it mean shop cut ba. cut is cut and so is hair so a shop cut hair is barber shop ba. so hair salon ba. you can say both hang cut so and hang cut so ba. and next word is barber shop ba. I explained you already we say hang cut so ba. hang cut so Barber ba, is a person who cut your hair. Then we say, Chien cut so. Ba, Chien cut so. Hair dresser or hair stylist. Ba, hair dresser or hair stylist. Ba. The same as barber, but uh, I think maybe just mostly like uh, refer to women. Ba. Then we say, Chien cut so. Because like women can cut your hair as well, can be a barber shop. Chien ut so, ba, these two words, I explained you already. And the last one, we say, Chien thu so, ba, Chien thu so. I mean like, uh, 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 get your hair done, ba, to, to style your hair, ba. So we say, Chien thu so, ba, Chien thu so. So again, for hairdresser and hair stylist, we say, Chien kat so, Chien ut so, or Chien now start to learn some sentences at the hair salon the first word we uh, not we the first word that that that, that a hairdresser or hair barber ask customer is what would you like to have done what would you like to have done but in the same as you say what would you like to do but in my the same what would you like to do? It means you do it by yourself. And another one, someone make for you. That we say, what would you like to have done? But that in Khmer you say, Nè chong thu ấy. Nè chong thu ấy. But this is a sentence from barber, barber and hairdresser. And when you would like to answer this question, you can say, I would like to have a haircut. I would like to have a haircut. But 
uh, actually when in English when someone cut for you you say uh, to get my hair cut to have my hair cut and another meaning it, it means like when you cut hair by yourself you can say cut my hair but but it might be done here even if you just have a haircut or cut my hair the same but uh, that in Khmer you say Khnyom Chang Kat Sok Khnyom Chang Kat Sok but so Kat Sok I mean haircut or cut hair nah? but cut hair haircut the same Kat Sok but Kat Sok another sentence you can say I would like to have a trim but I would like to have a trim but so you just want to trim your hair but not very short so in Khmer you say Khnyom Chang Dom Ram but Dom Ram it means to trim nah? Dom Ram Dom Ram and trim your hair Dom Ram Sa Dom Ram Sa Khnyom Chang Dom Ram Sa Khnyom Chang Dom Ram Sa okay I would like to get my hair washed. I would like to get my hair washed. But some people, they would like to get their hair washed. But like, yes, it's easier than they make a uh, wash by themselves. But uh, so, uh, if you would like to get your hair washed in Khmer, you say, Khnyom Chang Kok Sok. Khnyom Chang Kok Sok. But Kok is the word wash. Maybe you know another meaning of the word wash. What we use differently when you wash something in general, like you wash your car, wash something, uh, wash your motorcycle, but any, we use another meaning. When you wash your clothes or any fabric, you use another word. And when you wash your hair, you use this one. It's cut. Cut. That we say cut sock. Okay? Cut sock hair wash or wash your hair ba. so again khnyom chang kak sak ba khnyom chang kak sak i would like to get a perm i would like to get a perm khnyom chang ut sak ba khnyom chang ut sak i mean i would like to get my hair iron but I mean, if I follow in my uh, sentence, we say like that. Nah? Or I want to, I would like to iron my hair. Nah. So we say, Khnyom Chang Ut Ut Sa. But Ut Sa, it means like perm. Nah? Ut Sa, but make it curly. Nah. One more sentence is, I would like to get my hair dyed nah, with any color. I would like to get my hair dyed. Khnyom Chang Lip. So lip, if you use lip by itself, in general, you can use with to paint. But to paint, to paint a wall, to paint something, but with any color. And also you can use with like dye. But lip uh, In spoken, but in, in spoken, like in Khmer, you can skip por because por is a word color, right? Or is a word color, so you don't need to use anymore. But because when you dye your hair, you have uh, 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 you have to choose any color you would like to get your hair dyed, right? So you don't need to use the word color anymore. So in Khmer, you just say Khnom Chang Lip Sok. Khnom Chang Lip Sok Ba. Any you can skip Po. Ba Po is color, nah? Okay, like this. You see, I I place four in the bracket so you can skip it. Khnom chang lip sock. Another one you can use with a specific color you would like to get your hair dye. You can use specific color here. Like you, uh, you can say, I would like to get my hair color red. I would like to get my hair color red. Ba. Khnom chang lip sock home. Khnom chang lip sak kro hom. Ba. So you just add the color at the end of the sentence. Ba. Khnom chang lip sak kro hom. If you would like another color, you can change. I would like to get my hair highlight. Highlighted, right? Okay, highlight. 
Okay, can you just highlight that? But highlight we use highlight also in this case. When you go to hair salon, you would like to uh, get your hair highlight. Use the same word highlight. But highlight. Can you just highlight that? This is a question from barber or hairdresser. What style do you want? What style do you want? Net chong ban style a. Net chong ban style a. But so for the word style, in fact, we say style. But the same word, but we just pronounce style. Or besides this word, you can use the word mode. Mode. But it's from the word maybe modal. But so you can use both. You can say style or mode. So if I use mode, uh, uh, the barber or hairdresser will say net chong ban mode a. Net chong ban mode a. Bah. This is a common question from a barber or hairdresser. And uh, answer you have like uh, yeah many answer to to reply like for example like this a bit shorter a bit shorter. Clay chieng ni tick. Okay, the pronunciation of tick uh, in spoken we say tick. Eh, tick. So you can say clay chieng ni tick. Ba. And clay is short, short. Clay chieng shorter, shorter. Ni is this. I mean shorter than this. Shorter than current hair. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. Clay chieng ni tick. Clay chieng ni tick. Okay. Medium short. Ba medium short. We say clay la mom. Clay la mom. Not too short. Not too long. Just medium short. Clay la mom. Ba. Very short. Very short. If we follow English, we just say clay na. Clay na. But when the customer uh, 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 tell the barber or hairdresser, we always say clay clang. But clay clang. Clang means strong. Eh? But so strong short. Strong short is very short. But so like uh, when you use like this, uh, when you order like clay clang, like yeah, your, your head like almost the same ball head. Eh? Okay, we say clay clang. Clay clang. Okay, this is the sentence to tell about the problem with your hair. When your hair like has a problem, okay, you can tell them with many sentences like, My hair is freezing. But my hair is freezing. But in Khmer, you say, Sok nyom kro nyang. Sok nyom kro nyang. But kro nyang is mean like very curly, very, very curly. So in my say cronyang, eh? Cronyang. Sock nyum cronyang. My hair is rough. Rough. I mean, not smooth. Sock nyum at a long day. Sock nyum at a long day. Ba, a long, I mean smooth. A long. And rough, I mean not smooth. Ba, at a long day. My hair is dry. My hair is dry. Sock nyom smut. Sock nyom smut. Ba smut is dry. Nah. Dry smut. Sock nyom smut. My hair is oily. My hair is oily. Sock nyom mean praying chiran. Sock nyom mean praying chiran. Ba praying, you know already, it means oil. Oil, praying. And chiran is much, a lot, maybe. Ba. So oily, I mean a lot of oil. Ba. Much oil. Sock nyom mean praying chiran. Ba. I have split ends. I have split ends. Ba. So in Khmer, you say nyom mean. Sock by chong. Knyom mean sock by chong. But some people they have a problem like this with their hair. But so like at the end, like break with and like with many hairs, right? At the end. But so this problem we call sock by chong. Split ends. 
sub bài chồng và bài em mình break break bài em chồng em mình em và số break em hair break em sub bài chồng và and then after that like barber or hairdresser will tell you any products that can uh, uh, fix this problem uh, và Okay, that's all for this lesson and thanks so much for watching. I hope this lesson is useful for all foreigners who live in Cambodia and would like to use my sentence when you go to the barber shop or uh, 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 the hair salon. Yeah? But, but as usual, if you have any question, would like to ask or uh, still not clear with some points or have any idea, would like to recommend please let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer your question but again thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video